Hello and welcome to day 31 on Flora and the Novice Explorers. Today we're making more progress on our kitchen build that we started a few weeks ago. Yeah, we've had Flora for a whole year now and the seasons have started to change. Yeah, we've just enjoyed one glorious summer and now we've gone back into autumn. This morning we also woke up and we have 500 subscribers. So this is where we got to last time. Uh, just a case of gluing and screwing now and then we'll see how far we get. So these are our uprights. Um, we're going to screw one large screw in the bottom and then have um, some angled brackets to keep them nice and tightly in place. This is going to be our main top work surface, but then we're also wanting a hatch to keep the cooker in here. So this is where we've got to. We're taking this one really slowly. We're trying to think of possible problems that we might have in the future. How high the cooker shelf needs to be. And also we have got a full 25 litre drum. Of water. Yeah. So as you can see, there's just enough clearance there to get your hands in. A little bit of a tilt and you can get into position just fine. So I think that'll probably be the desired height. So now we're just gonna take some general measurements. This is gonna be our basis height. These structural beams are gonna go inside the uprights. We're gonna cut this one down and we're gonna have one of the same type of wood that goes along. This is gonna make a shelf to sit the cooker on with a lift up top so that it's not always on show and we're hoping to hit up a reclamation yard to see if we can get something a bit bespoke and a bit unique for the top. Our measurements have been made and it's now time for the cutting protective eyewear. After a few basic cuts, a few screws, and a bit of remeasuring, <laughs> it's starting to take shape, isn't it? It's a lot more sturdy, isn't it, than we thought oh, it was yes. going to be? It's uh, actually taking quite good shape now. I'm feeling a lot more confident about this. Got a few more bits and bobs to do, a few more screws, uh, just straightening up some of the upright supports. Yeah, and then hopefully get the jigsaw out, cut the shelf out, and then in the near future, it's going to be hinge clock again. So this is the very basic framework we came up with on the fly. Not much planning involved and that has caused a couple of problems with certain measurements and stuff, but we're getting through it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's working out quite well. It's a very organic structure. So now our next task is to make the top where the cooker's gonna be sat on top of. Right, we've got our rough template for the shelf cut out. It's very, very rough at the moment and we are gonna 
try and fit it on now, aren't we? Let's see how much of a close fit it is yes. on attempt one. This will be the first time we haven't tried it, so this will be a genuine reaction. <laughs> hopefully, right. hopefully it's a positive one. Right. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> Ah, uh, flip it again. <laughs> I'm so confused. That's better. <laughs> right. I was going to, oh, that's not far off. But a bit of jiggery pokery. That needs filing down a bit more. Don't force it. Uh, so we are ever so slightly tight on the upright that sticks up through. We just need to file that down yeah, a bit. Yeah, and go towards the back a bit on that, which will then allow this to twist a little bit more. Yeah. So we're not a million miles oh, off, actually. On. Making this one bigger. Yep. And cutting a bit out of that. Yeah. Okay. So, quick modifications. We'll be back in a couple of minutes, and this will be semi... Take two. Take two, yeah. yeah. Semi on. <laughs> After a little bit of filing, it wasn't too much trouble at all, was it? No, a lot easier than I anticipated. Hell of a lot easier. <laughs> I think we've been very lucky with this. I'll try and show you on screen what we're talking about. Basically, this side of the, the wall, or where it meets the wall of the van, is straight. And as you get closer to this side, there is a structural beam of the van which protrudes quite a lot and it curves. So, we're just gonna, this is gonna be the trickiest area just to get Bob on, but we're We'll just give it a go. We're going to probably leave it a little bit long and work our way very slowly towards the desired fit. And then once we've got it, we are going to glue it and screw it into place because at the moment it's still loose. So we can still maneuver it about and it's a bit easier for us both. Let's get measuring. So it fits, it fits into all of the corners and the nooks and crannies of the van. We've smoothed it off and given it a quick sand down. And now it's time for the easier part of the build, the gluing and screwing and weighting it down just so we get a nice good contact and it's firm. Yeah? Yeah. High five. It's taken a while but we're getting there, leaving you hanging. <laughs> Let's do it. So here we have it, our basic carcass, I suppose, for our cupboard. This one is taking a little longer than anything else because we haven't planned it. Yeah, it's complete from scratch. It's really sturdy, it's it's like glued and screwed. That really does help it be sturdy. Yes. Um, but no, it's it, the way it goes to the back, we're gonna have like a little secret compartment. Like it's all just well, evolving. How can it be secret if you just said, shh? No secret compartment, I've changed my mind. <laughs> Anybody that's in a hurry to see this finished, don't be pleased because our work commitments have changed a lot and we're having to work a lot more and our days off don't necessarily coincide. This is part two, no is it? Or three? Two. This is part two of a saga which I imagine is going to be probably about five. <laughs> it's not going to be as interesting, <laughs> no, no. it's going to be far more interesting than Twilight Saga. Um, because we get a cupboard out of it. 500 subscribers, thank you. It's now up a little bit more because this project has taken a few days. Yes. Slash a week. If you saw the beginning of this video, it was lovely autumnal colours and in the space of about two weeks, it's gone into winter, hasn't it? It's just like completely changed. It's cold. I remember this last year when we started, we were doing the insulation and stuff and it was unbearable at times, wasn't it? Cold yeah. hands and feet and just... Like, subscribe, share. 
and follow us on our social medias. At the... <laughs> yeah. Both Twitter and Instagram at the moment are at uh, VW underscore Flora. And more Flora on food coming too. Yeah, in the meantime as well. So we're keeping ourselves busy and we are getting there. Thanks for watching. Over and out. Yeah.